What a lovely day to go on a field trip. But if Groovy doesn't stop singing, it's going to start raining a lot. We've arrived to the Astronomy Museum. Look, Groovy, it looks like a flying saucer. Oh no, we've forgotten the solar system model inside the bus. Now you have nothing to show at the science contest. Kids, we have to reach the bus. Groovy, transform into a motorbike. A motorbike toy. Damn, the bus is already too far. We'll have to improvise. Haha, <laughs> Groovy, it's just a little spider. Stop playing with a telescope and look for something to build a new model. Hey, hey, kids, it says private. That means you can't enter inside. Hey, listen to me. Shh, children, you can't be here. But Pops, are you misbehaving too? Don't erase that. What are you writing? It's not understandable at all. Look for something to build a new model. Great, and now let's go. The contest is about to start. Ah, <laughs> Groovy, you're hopeless. I know you love fruits, but you almost ate the whole sun. Children, the judge says you have added one extra planet. Which planet is that, may I ask? No way. It's Groovy and Pop's planet, sure. But that planet is still unknown to anyone on Earth. Kids, let's remember the planets of the solar system. Around the sun, we have First, Mercury. Second, Venus. Third, Earth. Does this sound familiar, Earthlings? Fourth, Mars. Fifth, Jupiter. Sixth, Saturn. Seventh, Uranus. Eighth, Neptune. And ninth, what planet is this? Oh, Groovy. <laughs> I can't believe it. Pop solved the formulas of the laboratory's whiteboard. Now the scientists know where she has to look with a telescope to find, exactly, a new planet in the solar system, Groovy and Pop's planet. Kids, a new planet of the solar system has been discovered thanks to Phoebe and Groovy. They had already included it in their model. <laughs> okay, and thanks to Pops who solved the formulas of the whiteboard. Groovy, a new planet of the solar system has been discovered. Remember kids, science can be really cool, but you'll have to work hard to discover something new.
Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ah, <laughs> Groovy, your cat noir one is awesome too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more. Almost. Careful, Phoebe. No. Groovy, help her. Cristiano. Haha, <laughs> well done, Groovy. Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then? Beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. I love diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes. Look, a starfish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark. Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission. Finding the shark family. Wow, a clownfish. Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish. And a turtle, haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm. 
They seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster. Good job, kids. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learned today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. Great, surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. Phoebe loves her new dinosaur book. Groovy, do you know what dinosaurs are? Dinosaurs were animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Some of them were herbivores, and others were carnivores, but all of them were born from an egg. Would you be able to guess what dinosaur the egg is from? Pops, do you want to play the guess which dinosaur is this egg from? Hmm, Pops, what are you up to? Pops has opened a portal. Where does it go? Pops, have you brought us to the era of dinosaurs? We are at the Jurassic. Wait, kids. This can be very dangerous. Phew. At least we have Groovy who can transform if we need it. This Brontosaurus seems very nice, though. Those T-Rex, not that much. Kids, look. What's that? It's a dinosaur egg, like the one of the book. And it's in danger. Groovy, you have to do something. Kids, we must save the egg. Groovy, you can. It's there. Oh, oh, run. Kids, how do you think they can do it? Pops, I have an idea. A pterodactyl, that's right. Now you can save it and take it back to its nest. Well done, kids. They're like the ones in your book, Phoebe. Do you want to keep playing? Well, what kind of dinosaur will they be? Brontosaurus? No, Phoebe, they can't be Brontosaurus egg. Brontosaurus are huge to live on top of this little hill. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, Groovy, they can't be from a T-Rex. T-Rex can't fly, and it would be too difficult for them to feed the babies. <laughs> That's it, Pops. It must be a dinosaur that can fly. Do you already know what dinosaur it is? Exactly. Pterodactyls. <laughs> oh, and they think that you are their mom. Oh, 
That's their real mom. She's very grateful. Good job, kids. Oh, wow. What a long day, kids. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. day to play soccer in the garden. Hey, Groovy, try to score a goal. Haha, <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. <laughs> I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third. Look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball. Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. 
Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. What a beautiful day to play on the swing. Wow, Phoebe knows how to swing by herself. Groovy, why don't you try? It looks like fun. Come on. Ah, really good. Wait, what's that? It's a mole. Where is he going? To his house? Let's learn about animal homes. Does the mole live inside a bush? Haha, <laughs> no. It was just a snail. They live inside their shells, so they're carrying their own house around. And look over there! A spider! They make spider webs to live in, and also to catch their prey. Let's continue our way to the mole's house. Look kids, a frog. Frogs live in ponds. So fun. Kids, look at that. The dirt road ends in that hole. That must be his house. Groovy, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like? Moles dig burrows that are connected by tunnels. That's why they can appear anywhere in your garden. Wow, it's huge. Pops, where are you going? Look what he's found. A baby bird is about to be born. Oh no, it's going to fall. Thank God you caught it. How is it? Hi, little bird. Oh, it can't fly yet. It's just a baby. We have to help him go home. Do you know where it lives? Birds live inside a nest. They build their nest over the trees. But its nest is too high. How can we get over them? What should Groovy transform into to help that little bird? A hula hoop? A camera? Or a fire truck? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a fire truck. Really good, Groovy. It's almost there. Welcome home, little bird. Hey kids, do you want to play a game? Where do animals live? Look, these are the animals we've found. A mole, a snail, a spider, a frog, and a bird. Do you know where they all live? Where does the mole live? In a burrow, a shell, a spider web, a pond, or a nest? Really good. Moles live inside burrows. Where does the bird live? In a shell? A spider web? A pond? 
or a nest. That's it. Birds live in a nest over the trees. And the snail? Where does it live? In a shell? A spider web? Or a pond? Right, snails live inside their shells. What about the frog? Where does it live? In a spider web? Or a pond? That's right, frogs live in ponds. There's only one animal left, the spider. And sure, spiders live in spider webs. Let's go through them all again. Moles live inside burrows. Birds live in nests over the trees. Snails live inside their shells. Frogs live in ponds. And spiders live in spider webs. Really good. Groovy, Phoebe, this is not a place to play with the ball. Be careful, you are going to break something. Why don't you stop playing and enjoy the museum? You two love dinosaurs. Pops, you look weird. Are you okay? Kids, do you know what is happening? Hoverboard? Carousel? Broccoli? Surprise egg? Fire extinguisher? Nice try, but I think she is angrier now. Try to blind her with a flash. Kids, what do you think Groovy should transform into to scare the mummy? No, Groovy, transform into a dinosaur. What have we learned, kids? No balls allowed at the museum. It's a beautiful day to play at the beach. Look, that little girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball. not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish, haven't you seen a Little Mermaid by any chance? <laughs> Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! Be calm. 
I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? They do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a... A treasure! Whoa! Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. Yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. Haha, <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Red. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, pataya, 
and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly. Tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good. They're red. And the banana? Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Haha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left. The Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink, like the flamingo or the pataya. <laughs> and like pops. Yay! Learning is so fun. What are you doing? Are you trying to say something? Oh, yes. Subscribe, kids. Groovy the Martian, official channel.